It has indeed been a long off-season, and football fans across the nation have been waiting for this one particular weekend. It's game week on the gridiron, and now from the studios of Gramagdala Sports in Huntsville, Alabama, this is Stanley's Stinkers. Here are the games worth sniffing this week. South Carolina at Vanderbilt. Steve Spurrier and his roosters will be crowing for attention once the whistle blows in the Music City, while James Franklin and his seafaring crew will try to make the Gamecocks sing the blues. This ain't Bill Street, and Vandy ain't no superstar. At least not yet. We'll hold off on any surprises from the seamen just yet because South Carolina finally has a trouble-free QB and a bruising running back on a mended knee to provide their hits. We'll turn up the volume on this one. Stanley Stinker, Vanderbilt. Texas A&M at Louisiana Tech. This game was moved to Shreveport for maximum capacity, and now it seems like somebody named Isaac's coming. Well, Isaac is going to see a classic. While this game should be easy for the cattlemen from College Station, the Bulldogs may just sneak up on the herd as they look toward bigger games down the road. Since this is the only big game for La Tech, watch the Bulldogs bite. In Shreveport, in the first upset of the season, Stanley Stinker. Texas A&M. Boise State at Michigan State. The Blue Blazes from Boise will hop on their horses and ride into Michigan to play against the Greek soldiers of MSU Friday night. And this is a place where the grass is always green on both sides. While Boise State is used to their Smurf turf at home, that's not the only thing they'll have to adjust to. Mark D'Antonio learned defense from Nick Saban, and that's something Boise State doesn't normally see. A new QB at BSU and a strong defense from the Soldiers is what I see. Don't look for a lot of points. In a close one, Stanley Stinker, Boise State. North Carolina State and Tennessee in Atlanta. Derek Dooley takes his rifleman back to his home state for the kickoff classic, and there's more than a few Tennessee faithful who are wondering if Dooley's orange dungarees fit the program. The pack men from NC State, meanwhile, bring back 15 starters from the team that ended 2011 with a bowl win against Louisville. And, oh, by the way, a few weeks ago I met a hound dog named Dooley on the banks of the Holston River in Knoxville. He didn't seem none too concerned about the season, and I take that as a good sign for his namesake. Just because he was such a good dog and because it's tough to pick against a Dooley in the Peach State, Stanley Stinker, NC State. Ohio's Bobcats at Penn State. For the first time in modern history, the Mountain Cats open up the season without Joe Paterno. While a lot of tears were shed during the offseason by the Penn State family, there always comes a time for healing. The Ohio Bobcats may be just what the doctor ordered. It won't be happy in Happy Valley much this season, but there will be some rejoicing at least in this one. Stanley Stinker, Ohio. Bowling Green at Florida. The Swamp Lizards will be hungry when Freddie and Frida Falcon, the beloved mascots of BGSU, pull into Gainesville this weekend. On the field, there will be no similarities between the two teams, but on paper, there is one big connection. You see, neither team's ever really gotten over losing Urban Meyer as their head coach. Meyer was coach at Bowling Green, quite an urban legend there before he was at Florida, and he brought success to both places. But if Will Muschamp wants to survive another season at Florida, he'll start it off with a swamping of the flock from Ohio. Stanley Stinker, Bowling Green. Buffalo at UGA. The Bulls from Buffalo go down to play the Bull Dogs from Georgia this weekend, and a beat-up bunch of pups in Athens are steadily licking their off-season wounds. Despite their woes, Georgia is still picked to fight for a share of the conference title. This game will be a good chance for Mark Rick to get his reserves ready just in case there are more suspensions later on in the year. Stanley Stinker, Buffalo. Georgia Tech at Virginia Tech. This could be one of the best games of the year despite the fact that it's the opener for both teams. Frank Beamer and his fighting gobblers should be roosting in the top of the conference again this year, but Paul Johnson and his engineers will be trying to wreck that blueprint early. Both offenses are potent. Both defenses stingy. This may come down to special teams. If it does, Beamer ball always comes out on top. Stanley Stinker, Georgia Tech. Kentucky at Louisville. 
Charlie Strong has a pair of 7-6 and six records to show for his first two seasons with the Redbirds of Louisville, while Kentucky's Joker Phillips has a long-awaited win over Tennessee to brag about in his first two years. This game may be more about job security. These two schools are used to winning big in basketball, and they at least want to compete in football. While a lot of people are high on the Louisville bandwagon this year, the Redbirds still have to fly past their state rivals, and the losing coach may have a long season to send out resumes. Stanley Stinker, Kentucky. Miami at Boston College. Last year was tough for both of these once powerful teams. Scandal took the former champs down to a tropical depression as they had their first losing record since way back in 1979. BC, meanwhile, went 4-8 and eight and missed the bowl invite for the first time in a dozen years. But BC brings back nine starters on defense and nine on offense, and that's pretty near the whole team. That's why this game should be fun, but not very fun for the Stormy Ibis. Stanley Stinker, Miami. Southern Miss at Nebraska. This really should be a good Heisman audition for the Huskers' Herald and Hurler, Taylor Martinez. Last year, the speedster accounted for almost 3,000 yards of total offense on his very own. This year, he has six other starters back on offense to lead the way, and he hopes to make the Golden Eagle say all shucks early and often. This won't be a good opener for Eagle head coach Ellis Johnson. Stanley Stinker, Southern Miss. Texas San Antonio at South Alabama. Well, normally a place this high on the stink list is set for upper-tier teams, but this is an exception. The Roadrunners of Texas San Antonio and the Jaguars of South Alabama are both toddlers when it comes to college football. Both teams started their programs within the last several years. Former University of Miami coach Larry Coker leads the beep beeps, while former Dora Alabama high school coach Joey Jones calls the shots for Team USA. I have no earthly idea who will lose this game, but I do want to take the time to wish both squads health, success, and compliance. Nonetheless, Stanley Stinker, Texas San Antonio. Washington State at BYU. Former Texas Tech coach Mike Leach is at the helm of the Washington State ship for the first season, and his first test will be a tough one against his alma mater. Leach has been famous for outthinking his opponent more than once. He'll need all the smart pills he can get in Utah this weekend if he hopes to slay the Cougars of Brigham Young. BYU has 17 starters back from a team that posted a 10-3 record last year. This will not be a good night to be a pirate. Stanley Stinker, arr, Washington State. Auburn versus Clemson in Atlanta. Auburn coach Gene Chizik won a championship a couple of years ago. Since then, however, everybody's been trying to give this poor man an ulcer. After an offseason mired in controversies, Chizik loads what's left of his striped cats into an eastbound bus hoping to get away from it all and maybe just build some character. But that character would come at the expense of Dabo Swinney and his group of striped cats from Clemson. Swinney has his own offseason to worry about, plus he also has a terrible taste left in his mouth from a 33-70 bowl game loss at the end of the 2011 season. This comes down to the coaches. Which coach will block out distractions and motivate his own litter? I'd like to say it's Chiswick, but good coaching only goes so far. Stanley Stinker, Auburn. Alabama versus Michigan in Arlington, Texas. With two titles in three years, the tide has indeed turned in Tuscaloosa. Meanwhile, another storied program at Michigan turned the other way at precisely the same time. A win against Alabama could signal a massive shift for the Ann Arbor Polecats. Fleet-footed Denard Robinson is hoping to convince the maize and blue followers that their tradition is back against the Bama defense that's rebuilding. But to quote a line from Steely Dan, they got a name for the winners in the world. I want a name when I lose. They call Alabama the Crimson Tide. Call me Stanley, and the stinker in this one is the Michigan Wolverines. And meanwhile, here's a few other games that caught my eye for the weekend. Central Arkansas will stink against Ole Miss. Jackson State will lose to Mississippi State. Jacksonville State will reek against Arkansas. North Texas will be a stinker against LSU. And in a battle of the storms, 
The Iowa State Cyclones will whiff up the odor and lose to the Tulsa State Golden Hurricanes. Well, that's it, sports fans. That is a whole bunch of losers for the first week of college football 2012. You can always catch your picks and select the newspapers across the southeast, or you can listen to the podcast each week and also make comments on our blog. Make sure you let our sponsors know how much you appreciate them. Check out our sponsors page for these fine bunch of boosters. CBSSports.com Fan Shop Passion Parties by Eve AnytimeCostumes.com Five Front Public Relations Russell Athletic In the Hole Golf and StadiumCraze.com Stanley Stinkers is an exclusive production of Gramagdala Sports. Any rebroadcast, reproduction, or other use of this podcast without the written consent of Gramagdala Sports will be greatly appreciated. All rights are reserved. Remember, sports fan, winning is not everything. Uh, yeah, it is. What am I saying? Of course it's everything. Where's my ride? Hey, where's my ride? <laughs>